welcome back. Hey, welcome back. Welcome back, family. Hey, and if you're new to this channel, my name is Amber, and on this channel, we review fragrances and body care, and we spill a sip a little tea from here and there. Your sis may go left, but that's okay. Just subscribe, give me the thumbs up, comment down below. We'd we'll love to get to know you and meet you, and hey, family, hey, I hope you all are doing well. Hey, new family, I see y'all coming in. I hope you all are doing really well. Well, let's get into it. I have three new fragrances that I picked up at Sephora. Um, they are the travel size, okay? So I am in the vibe or in the era of travel size. So when I'm not very sure about a fragrance, honey, I'm getting the travel size. I don't care what nobody says, I'm yeah, that's what I'm doing. <laughs> I'm gonna save my coins and not get the full bottle. So I really wanna see if these are full bottle worthy or not, okay? You all know how I do. I will let you know the true tea. If it is good, then we gonna say, yeah, we gonna get a full bottle. But if it's not, we don't want no parts, okay? So let's start off with Valentino Donna, okay? And this is Born in Roma. This is Green Extravaganza. I love that name, Extravaganza. Um, it just, just seems so fun and flirty. So let's see what the notes say this is going to do. Okay, let's start there. So the notes that I get from this, we have a T note, we have some jasmine, oh, I don't know about that one, and we have some vanilla. So it seems a, like a pretty simple fragrance. It seems like definitely more of a um, white floral, so maybe that's definitely good for the spring, but you all know how your sis is about tea notes. Now, I haven't been successful in the tea notes category, okay? Let's be very honest, okay? I have failed at the tea. So, I'm kind of nervous, but I do love, let me say, I do love Valentino's, like, packaging on the travel size. Like, I feel like this is so cool. Um, It just gives me, like, exciting vibes. So, I feel like, you know, even though I got the travel size, I feel like it still is vibrant to me. So anyway, let's not just stick on the packaging. Let's see if this is full bottle worthy or not. Um, <laughs> but it's tea. Okay. Hmm. Okay. Okay. Um. Okay. Okay. No. <laughs> no, this this wouldn't be full bottle for me. But I will say, hear me out. I will say this is a beautiful white floral tea fragrance. Okay. So for those who love a good tea note, you like a good maybe a, a fresh kind of a herbal-ish type of scent. I think you would love this. Definitely complimenting it with the jasmine, the floral note. Like, I think this is a great compliment on a tea white floral note. This is just not my scent profile of love. It sucked, Bobby. Okay, so I'm not gonna down this. Trash! But would this be full bottle worthy for me? No. I don't like it. No, I'm not getting, no, no, no. I won't be getting that in full bottle. Hate it. But I will say, will I enjoy the travel size that I do have? Yes. I'm lying. I will definitely enjoy this travel size. This is a good spring. I think this is a good brunch. This is a good like early morning. Um, quick grab and go, very easy breezy type of fragrance. But I think the turn off for me is just that tea and jasmine. You smell like ointment and pee. No. Uh, I just don't like that scent profile. I just haven't found one that I enjoy. So I don't plan on giving up on the tea experience, right? I've feel like I'm going to eventually get a tea scent that I really do enjoy. But yeah, it's cute, but this is just not for your, this not for your sis, okay? 
moving on. Next up, I have one that I have been so excited to try. And not because it has my name in it. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> but Amber Vanilla I from The Seven Virtues, I have been wanting to try this fragrance. Um, one, because I do like a good amber note, right? And I love Seven Virtues and the scent. Like, you all know, like, I'm a Seven Virtues girl, right? Um, but I love the scents that they come up with. Um, I love that it's a clean brand. I, I just love the way that they do their fragrances. Um, so I was excited. I feel like this is going to be more of a warm vanilla fragrance. Um, but let's go to the notes. Let me see. Top notes, we have pink pepper. Middle notes, we have carnation, lily of the valley. Base notes, we have ambroxan, iso e super, vanilla, and musk, okay? You all know I love a good ambroxan. I love the way ambroxan smells. Carnation, I love carnation. I've had carnation in other fragrances, so I love that note. It really gives a unique flair to me with fragrances. Um, so I'm excited. Okay, so I'm thinking this is going to be a warm, very unique, airy, maybe. Uh, maybe a little bit of an airy, definitely unique, warm. I don't know. Let's see. Let's see. Well, what's, what's it giving? Hmm, hmm, hmm. Ooh. Okay, it gives a little bit of a spice. Ooh. Okay, okay, okay. Mm. Okay, I do like this. This gives a little bit of a spice. Definitely airy. Definitely airy. And I think that Embroxen just kind of makes it airy. Um, kind of like a molecule type of fragrance scent. Oh, and it's unique. So, it, oh my goodness. It actually gives me like... Um, Juliet has a gun super dose if you know anything about that one oh it gives me that vibe I would say the difference though this is a little bit more warmer a little bit more spicy but not too spicy where it's off-putting oh wow I really do enjoy this Wow, so is this full bottle worthy or not definitely full bottle but I will say I'm gonna wait <laughs> You heard me. I'm going to wait until the Sephora sale that's coming up in um, April. I'm waiting to the Sephora sale. And then we're going to add the cart. Because I want my percentage off. My 20%, I need that off. Okay? So I'm not going to get it now. But I'm going to rock with this and prepare to get the full bottle in April. Okay? <laughs> Moving on. And last but certainly not least, we have Flower Bomb tiger lily okay i have been wanting to try this honey does it isn't tiger lily in um peter pan no peter pan got tiger lily mm. okay um anyway that's nothing to do with the fragrances i know i'm just saying isn't don't ain't there a tiger lily anyway so this is supposed to be a tropical coconut tropical so you all know how I am about your coconut and tropical right up my alley so I love flower bomb I do love the original um and I love when they bring out the flankers but I feel like to be honest with you all I was kind of sick and tired of all the flankers I ain't gonna lie sick and tired I mean I I know that there are people that love all the flankers and I love it for you, but after a while, it's just like, uh, okay, here we go again. Uh, here we go again. And I do have some of them, so I, so no shade on it, right? I got like the white one, the midnight one, or the black one. So I have some of the flankers, but after a while, I was just like, are we going back to this again? So I am hoping that it, of course, might have the DNA, but I'm hoping, because I like a good coconut, I'm hoping this will give me the coconut tropical vibes that I'm really hoping for for this spring, summer. But we gonna see, okay? Um, you know, yo, sis, I do love a good sweet coconut or sweet things. I'm very much on the gourmand side of things, but I know, just let me smell it. I know. Okay. 
hang. Mm, okay, so definitely flower bomb DNA on it, like definitely. Hmm, okay, I do like it. It's a coconut. Um, I don't know. I'm this is a big question mark because I don't know if I would purchase this at full bottle for myself, but if there was a gift coming or somebody gifted me this, I would not deny it. Um, I would be all about it, all on board, definitely. Hmm, but I don't know, okay? I don't know, I'm so like, this is the mystery question mark. So let me know your thoughts. Do you like Flower Bomb Tiger Lily? Let's get into the notes. So top notes, we have coconut milk bergamot. We have Tiger Lily Jasmine Freesia, okay? And we have mango and benzoin. Okay, so we do have a mango note in this and coconut, okay? I don't really get the mango but maybe I have to wear it right because that's at the base note so I gotta wear it a little bit more but I definitely get the heavy coconut which I don't mind I like a good coconut milk coconut coconut whatever um coconut water coconut salt I, I like a good coconut note but I don't know if it is moving me to purchase it at a full bottle price with my own coin so this one is definitely a mm, I don't know um on the fence about this if this is full bottle worthy or not I think this is cute but do I have better coconut fragrances yes do I have better mango fragrances in my collection yes so I just don't know if this is a must have or a need um, in my collection or something that I desire right um Hmm. But I would love to know your thoughts, right? Please let me know. Do you love this um, fragrance? Do you have it? Please comment down below. I would love to hear your thoughts. But again, if you gift it to me, who's saying no? <laughs> Not me, sis. <laughs> Never. Okay. Uh, I, I rebuke that spirit of denying gifts. Who doing that? Well, that's all. That's all, family. For my first impression thoughts, is it full bottle worthy or not? Okay. So overall, I would say this is questionable. This is definitely full bottle worthy for me, and this is a not. <laughs> Make sure you subscribe. Give me the thumbs up. Comment down below. Would love to get to know you and meet you. And hey, family, hey, make sure that you're good to yourself. Give yourself some grace. And if no one has told you that you are more than enough, to, yeah, <laughs> who said it? <laughs> Your sis just did. Bye, family. I love you so much. Bye.